Well, hello everyone. This is Dr. Bruce Shelton. Today is November 23rd, 2008, which is the weekend before Thanksgiving. And I hope everyone is getting ready to enjoy a festive meal with their family and friends on Thanksgiving this coming Thursday. We have a question regarding this very subject that is very germane to the time and will give us some insight into the problems we need to be considering. One of our blog members have asked, how are food additives and health and harmful consequences related? Well, there is a strong connection between food additives. The great majority of food additives are totally safe. However, there are genetically engineered foods and there are things in our foods that are absolutely harmful and causative of extreme health concerns. We went to a conference this past summer uh, in Indian Wells, California, where we learned that genetically modified foods, what's that you ask? Genetically modified foods are those foods that have been programmed to grow their own pesticides and to be improved in some unknown way. Well, in other words, like potatoes are modified to grow their own pesticides, like Roundup. So you don't have to spray pesticides on the potato because the potato grows it itself within the potato. Well, there's a certain toxin that was discovered called the BT toxins that actually cause leaky gut syndrome, which is found to cause autism in certain people. One of the mothers at the conference, her name was La Lama, a nice lady who had an autistic son who discovered that her son was bothered by this particular substance and went out and bought some bitter orange uh, and also the phenolic that is part of it that makes it work better called octopamine, which is available through our office and Deseret Biologicals. Octopamine helps neutralize these BT toxins. Well, before we get too far into that, what is the significance of what food additives can do? Well, this particular BT toxin, which has the same effect as so many other additives that could be dangerous, cause leaky gut syndrome. Now, a little bit of humor. If you don't count chocolate, that's the humor. Now, getting serious, there are three major food groups, carbohydrates, proteins, and fats. Well, when you totally digest a protein, it breaks down into 21 amino acids. When you totally digest a carbohydrate, it breaks down into one of the nine or 11 sugars and starches, nine sugars, 11 starches, or a combination thereof. And when you totally break down fats, there are a combination of nine fatty acids. So those nine, nine, 11, and 21 substances 50 in all, that are the basic building blocks of all foods, are allowed to pass freely through the intestine. Now, anything else is kind of blocked from passing through. But if something were to get through because you had a leaky gut, like if you were to absorb a piece of food while it's still chemically the food itself, like for instance if you eat steak, which is beef, so if you totally digest the beef, it goes down to the amino acid and fatty acids and those pass through and get into the system and do what they're supposed to do properly. But if you absorb a little piece of steak while it's still chemically a piece of beef, that little piece of beef is not on the checklist of people invited to the party and the immune system that is in the lining of the intestinal walls, the lymph nodes that are known as the Peyer's patches, have a detection system and an antibody producing system that will make antibodies against beef, which you never would get a chance to if you allowed it to totally digest in the lumen of the intestine. Well, it turns out that that little piece of beef, the antibodies against it, are cross-reactive with different parts of your body, such as the lining of your joints. And when you make antibodies against the lining of your joints, you get arthritis. Like your skin, you get dermatitis. Like your nose, you get a runny nose. Like your lungs, you get asthma. In other words, when you make antibodies inappropriately against different substances, 
you trigger the reactions that we call allergies or chronic inflammation. And this goes all the way up the line, up to including cancer. I mean, we are not supposed to be absorbing broccoli until it's totally digested into its carbohydrate sugars and starches. We're not supposed to be absorbing a piece of fish until it's an amino acid. And if we absorb the foods early through the leaky gut, the leaky gut is caused by food additives, we end up getting these autoimmune reactions, which could be something as simple as allergies, but could be something as serious as arthritis and lupus and cancer and thyroid disease and all the different chronic degenerative diseases that affect us all. Well, the simple solution is A, not to eat the bad food, not to eat the food with the food additives. In other words, eat organic and make sure that your foods are totally appropriate. There are certain food additives that are good, like EDTA, for instance, is used as a food preservative, and we use EDTA as a chelating agent to get heavy metals out of our body. So EDTA, when you see it in your food, is good, but when you start seeing things like these artificial sugars, like saccharin and uh, nitrates and nitrites, and all the different ingredients that are there supposedly to keep us healthy, they're supposedly to protect the food. If they can trigger a leaky gut syndrome, you're in trouble. So what do you do? Well, if you can't not eat it, you come see a homeopathic physician, such as myself, who have been working diligently with uh, certain companies like Desbio that I now work for. We've developed this new theory of comprehensive homeopathy, where we've combined uh, phenolics, which are the phenol-containing chemicals that are cross-reactive with the nervous system. We've added the bowel nosodes, the, the nosodes of the germs. We have plants, we have minerals. Uh, we have numerous things that I've explained in other videos that actually will neutralize the allergy and neutralize these immune complexes and these immune products that cause all these problems that are very harmful and very uncomfortable to us. So the subject at hand, what about food additives and health concerns? Certain food additives are terrible. Certain food additives, even though they make the food taste really good, are unhealthy for us. And I guess in this short video, we can make you just aware of it. Now, with that in mind, I would like you to go out and enjoy Thanksgiving, but do it naturally. Have cranberry sauce that you've made yourself from natural cranberries. Have, uh, have a turkey that is prepared from an organic turkey farm without all the stuff they put in it. I mean, think uh, happily and you will have a happy Thanksgiving and at the end of the meal uh, you'll truly be thankful because you've done your family a good deed and you've really enjoyed yourself because getting together at Thanksgiving is a lot of fun and of course going out to the rest of the year likewise in a healthy fashion will make us a happier and healthier nation. So with that, I wish you a happy Thanksgiving, and uh, please take care of yourself and come back next week when we'll probably be a little wiser, a little bit more full, we'll be full of leftovers, and can go forward to enjoying the rest of the year. Thank you very much.